name is David Handley. I'm with the University of Maine Cooperative Extension, and we're here to talk about how to prune and train a young grapevine. Now, this is a vine that was planted last spring, and we got it from a dormant plant or rooted cutting, and you can see the original part of the planting right here. Okay, so this is what we got from the nursery with a good root system under it. We planted it, and we had a bud break and some vine growth. So this is last year's growth right here. So this was a green shoot. Typically, you may get more than one shoot developing. You may have several buds on here. But we want to prune this back to one strong vine, your strongest one. And we're going to arrange for that to be tied up to a trellis because this particular vine is what's going to become our permanent trunk or the permanent part of the plant that's going to be with us for the life of the planting. So we want to make sure it's the strongest of the vines that we can choose from. Any other one that developed that's very weak, we can just cut that out, select our best one. Now the time of year to make these cuts are when the canes are dormant. And this is going to be really any time after the new year until they bud out in late March, early April. And we hope in the first year that we get enough good growth that we can tie it to the lower trellis wire. Typically here in Maine, we're going to be pruning to either a forearm Niffin training system or an umbrella Niffin training system. And those trellises consist of two wires, one set at about two and a half feet and a second wire set at about five feet. So we hope in the first year that we're going to get enough good growth to reach at least the bottom wire. But in order to make sure it's growing straight, you can see we supported this with a small bamboo pole. Any kind of planting stake will work. And we just tie that vine up as it grows rather than let it grow along the ground where it can get uh, rot problems and not develop a nice straight growth like we want. So we tie it up just like you tie up a beefsteak tomato, get the growth that you want. And as I said, we've got pretty good buds here uh, reaching up to the first wire. You can see that I actually make it to the top wire, but you can see the growth up here is very scrawny and spindly and isn't really going to lead to a good strong trunk. I'd rather actually start new growth for reaching to this top wire for next year. So what that means is that I'm actually going to cut this off here rather low to try to get this bud here to break and give me a much stronger shoot to develop my trunk to the top wire next year. So I can just take that there and then instead of using the bamboo pole, this year I can just tie it to the wire. And this bud will hopefully break and give me a good strong shoot that I'm going to reach the second wire next year. Of course, these buds lower down will also break. Uh, and if this one happens to be weak, I may select one of these. But uh, if, these, if this bud does turn out to be a strong shoot, I'll be cutting these off next winter and getting my single trunk back up to the top wire. Next year, when this does reach the top wire, Eventually what we'll be doing is taking one-year-old cane and either draping it over this top wire and connecting it to the bottom wire in an umbrella niffin, or we'll be taking one cane at the top wire on each side and one cane at the bottom wire on each side to create four arms of one-year-old growth for a four-arm niffin system. Both systems work pretty well for Concord-type grapes here in a cold climate like Maine.